I've got a sweet baby card for you today, and guess what? It's a shaker. So we're just going to be doing the card with a single die. This is the Twinkle Twinkle Cloud and Star set from our Fillables collection. We're also going to be using some clear microbeads and our iced flake, part of our glitter jewels. Okay, these to the side. So first thing I'm gonna do is give you a quick measurement. We have a piece of coconut white card that is five and seven eighths by just a hair over seven inches. And I'm going to cut an aperture into the card using the center cutting edge on the uh, cloud. So I'm gonna just sort of put it up to the top about like that. Tape it into place. So we'll create the space for our treat cup. Okay, put that back. So now I'm going to, I've got one already filled, but I'll show you what I've done. I've added a little bit of the iced flake to that. Doesn't take too much. And just a little teeny tablespoon or teaspoon of some microbeads, and that'll help kind of move it around. We're going to seal it using some Cosmic Shimmer Dry Clear Glue. I'm just gonna put a bead all the way around the edge. And I find it's a little bit easier if you move it flat. It takes less time to actually um, glue and dry. You have plastic on plastic here, so it will take a little bit of time. Pop a piece of acetate over that. There we go. So I've got one I've done earlier, so I'll set that aside to dry. So we'll bring this one in, pop the treat cup through there, and I'll use a bit of single-sided tape to hold it into place here. Just tape it to the back of your card. Oop. Let's try that so it doesn't show. There we go. And I've done a um, cloud using just the outline on this die set. So we can see that through. So what I'll do is tape that behind. Just line it up. And if you shake your little uh, hexagons and microbeads down, you can see where it needs to line up. Put that right in place. A couple pieces of tape. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is add some clouds and some stars, and I've got a few of them cut already. So I'm going to glue one, just kind of going off the page a little bit. There we go. Oop, that's about right. Push it in a little bit, that'll work. And I'm just going to trim it even with the edge of the card. Okay. Put another one on, with a bit of mounting foam on top of it. Oops, there we go. We'll just sort of overlap that a tiny bit. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring in our base piece and put that on there. And then we can kind of work forward from that point. Mounting foam. I've just done a white on white. Very, very simple since we have an elegant baby card here. Just like that. Now this cloud has not one but two outside cutting edges. And the reason for that is so you can make a little cloud edge to go around your tree cup. So I'm going to bring in a little bit of glue. Just run a bead all the way around that. And that will fit right over the top of that. There we go. Put that down. You could even do that in a blue if you like. And I've got an assortment of different stars. These are so cute. They all have like little stitching. So we'll add those. I'm gonna put a couple up here. And I've done these in both um, an aqua card and a duck egg blue. So you have just a little bit difference in color on them. There, sort of like that. We'll put one up in the corner here. Just to fill in there. Put a couple of larger ones 
down here. I just like to have them a little offset. We'll sort of overlap even. Yeah, let's sort of touch there, that'll work. And do one more medium sized here. Okay, now I've done the Twinkle Twinkle Sentiment and I've just stacked that up. I've cut that out of the duck egg. Give it a quick spray. going to position this one right down in the corner. And what I'm gonna do is just take a pin, make a little teeny squiggle just from the edge of it, down like that. I'm gonna put the last little star in place like it's being hung there by the sentiment. There we go. Isn't that cute? And you have it, a really quick and easy shaker card for a baby. Isn't that adorable? Hope you've enjoyed the video and look for us on our YouTube channel soon. Don't forget to subscribe.